No. Wow. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Women are not interested in STEM fields. You know, this is so wrong that I don't even know where to start. I wouldn't be here if I wouldn't be interested in it. So all the women in my engineer classes were just there for fun? I have a master's degree in engineering, so obviously I have to say that it's not true. It's so maybe a bit true, but that also states that we have a lot of work to do to inspire younger girls. Women have always been passionate about science, technology, engineering and math. We can find a lot of women very good in that field. It's better to have a mix between men and women. We're here, we're interested and we're changing the game. Tech is a man's world. That's an interesting one. Someone forgot to tell me because I've been working in tech for years. That's a statement I have like heard through my whole uh, studies and my whole career that I've done. I'm not a man, so uh, I don't identify with it. Me being here and all the women being in the tech world proves that that's not true. Ensure that your women can bring a lot to the tech uh, environment. It's everyone's world. Actually, tech is uh, welcoming uh, every gender. So tech isn't a man's world. It's a world of problem solving, and I'm damn good at that. Women are less capable in mathematics and scientific disciplines than men. Well, no, <laughs> it's not true. We are just as capable as men, so. I don't quite agree with that. I think my strengths have always been mathematics and uh, scientific things rather than anything else. Mathematics has always been one of my favorite topics during school and during uh, my university. I was actually good at mathematics at a young age. If you ever think back, think of Marie Curie and other women who have made massive breakthroughs in science, I think you've got your proof that the statement is very wrong. So remember, numbers don't care about gender, logic doesn't have a preference, but society does, and that's what needs to change. Women are actively discouraged from pursuing scientific studies and career. I think it's not so much being discouraged, it's just more that they are not encouraged enough. I always have a supportive environment. At my university, the, actually, that was a really good year and there were really half-half of the women and, and men. So I don't think so, that's, that's the rule. Yeah, actually, when I was younger, people told me to not take a tech program in the university because I'm more a people person. So I'm really glad that I did not listen to them and that I'm here today. This isn't quite true anymore. Things are in fact changing. I pursue uh, scientific studies to better know my, my environment, better know the world around me. I really and truly believe that encouragement should be based on talents and passion, not outdated gender norms. Actually, I'm curious for the next one. Women are not ambitious. Okay, so this is um, very difficult for me. Definitely, uh, it must be a man who writes this sentence. Not at all. I, I consider myself really ambitious. I'm an ambitious woman. Can I say that I have achieved my ambition and I'm living my best life today? Ambition isn't defined by gender. It's about what drives you and how hard you're willing to work to achieve your goals. I moved from Poland to Spain, from Spain to France. I speak four languages. So I hope uh, every woman can feel comfortable with that and uh, follow their dreams uh, to, to be as ambitious as they want. If we have our goal and we establish, we can achieve it. Women are less suited for positions of leadership and responsibility. Must be because obviously I am in leadership myself. I am leading currently a team of 40 engineers. Someone should tell my team that. We are good at coordinating and take care of every people around us. So that's, what, that's why maybe we go for those typical jobs more. If we have the, the motivation, the energy, uh, women can do a lot. I am a division director in Alten, my manager who is the CEO of Alten Italy, is also a woman. And in my team, there are many women in leadership uh, position. In the tech world, I never actually had a female manager. That's maybe why I, it was a drive for me to even become a manager by myself. I think that we are sometimes shy. So this is our role to take the responsibility and to show ourselves, to raise the hand and to say that uh, we want to 
to something else. Leadership isn't about gender. It's about vision, resilience, and action. And last time I checked, women excelled at all three. A fulfilling career is incompatible with a fulfilling personal life. Oh dear. In my opinion, it's not true at all because you have to work hard to um, achieve your goals in career, but that's the same in personal life. We just need to look for the balance. Personally, I have never, never been uh, so happy with my work and my personal life as, as today. I have a career and a personal life. Am I breaking the rules? Personally, I became a mother uh, some months ago. Obviously, it's tough to match uh, all the work part and the life part, uh, but uh, I want to continue pursuing my career and be there for my daughter in the following years. So I don't agree. There is nothing that is stopping you from having a fulfilled personal and professional life. Balance isn't about perfection. It's about finding what works for me. Whether it's finishing a project or taking a weekend to recharge, I make it happen. It's all about defining balance on my own terms. Women are more suitable for literally studies. Uh, <laughs> I don't agree because I really don't like literary. Oh yeah, because apparently women's brain can handle poetry but not programming. At my school, like I was really bad at it, so I was really the mathematics and scientific, like uh, just more science studies. Thirty-first percent of our workforce are women, so this is obviously not true. Some of us love numbers, some love words. The only things we don't love being told what we should or shouldn't do. Limiting a role to a gender is last century, if not the century before. Nothing else to say. Women are questioned more than men in meetings. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it can be that women are more uh, challenged uh, by their management. For my personal experience here in Alton, this is not true. Every woman in team might agree that this is the most outdated but accurate cliche of all time. This statement actually hits a bit hard for me because I have been in that case as a woman. It's a bit sad. I would say that my men colleagues step up, be there for your women colleagues and uh, listen to them and do not question them. I cannot tell because I'm not a man, so I don't have the comparison. If you are enough confident with your position, you can easily answer to all the men who are asking questions. There's definitely a massive mishmash in, in this question. Everybody has got the the problem of finding their voice of finding their space of finding the courage to to ask questions or to say i haven't quite understood this or to say i don't agree with you